Hi everybody, Flight Cap Cafe Racer. As you may remember in a previous video that I had uh, problems uh, with a starter on my Moto Guzzi Sport here. And uh, I went through and did some troubleshooting. I did a video on that. And I, I never did come up with the, the reason why it did what it did. But thankfully, some of my subscribers, and this, in this instance, Ronnie Moore, gave me a link to a, a, a website, and that's not a website, it was a, a forum discussion on this particular issue. Apparently, a lot of the moto, older Moto Goosies, not the newer ones, I haven't heard about that, have a problem, very similar symptoms to mine. Uh, the ampage is good on the battery, the volts are good on the battery, it's charged, the system's charging, but for some reason, the starter just won't start occasionally. And they have, a, it's, it's so common that they call it, they have a name for it, Stardust Interruptus is the name. So stay tuned, I've got an answer for it, my Stardust Interruptus. Meerkat. Apparently, the, pro well, the problem goes back to the way the, the electricity is routed. And as the motorcycles get older, older there's some tendency for some more resistance to build up. Power to the starter goes through a number of switches before it comes back, and if the, if the, the amperage is not high enough by the time it gets back to the, the relay, the starter relay, then the bike won't start because it can't close the relay. Say if, uh, if you have, if you turn your motorcycle on and you hear the solenoid clicking, or the relay clicking, then you probably don't have starter interruptus, it's something else. So if you're getting enough amperage to make it click, then that's, this is not your problem. The solution to my problem was found in that link that I, Ronnie sent me when he was talking about the starter interruptus. You can do it yourself, or they have a, there's a company called MPH uh, Cycles uh, that you can get if you take unplug the relay from the harness then plug this into the relay then plug the harness into this then you run the battery uh, wire directly to the battery and it has a 15 amp fuse in it and that solves your problem and sells for $42 I asked for it I think I got it ordered on Monday and today's Wednesday so it got here pretty quick so we're going to install that I don't think it'll take very much time at all I just got to find the relay where the relay is under the seat. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the seat and see if we can find a relay here. There are several relays and they're all located right here. So I think the easiest thing for me to do is to remove this panel. It's got two screws so I can get at those relays. I'm removing this screw here because this panel's behind it and it'll make it easier to take off and get on. This has this has one screw here, then it is it should just pop out of here. According to the instructions sent by MPH, the wire the relay I'm looking for, there's actually two or three relays in here. The one I'm looking for is one with the orange and yellow wire. So there's the orange and there's the yellow. So I think this is the relay that I'm looking for. I guess what we could do to make sure, I'll try to start the bike. I'll start the bike with this relay in and try to start it without it. This is trying to start it with a with a relay still in. Okay, now we need to take the relay out to see if it'll start. If it doesn't start, then I've got the right relay. It's pretty, this is pretty tough. So you're going to need to press down on the black pin and pull it up pretty hard. Then you can see the relay. The relay is now out. Let's see if it starts.
nothing. So it does not start. So I think we've got the right relay. Like Mr. Bill, we're going to read your instructions. After you have located a relay, simply plug the connector uh, into the bike harness and plug it into the relay kit. Connect the fuse to the positive. That's it. So, and what I'm doing, what I, when I'm here, I think what I'm going to do is spray a little contact cleaner into this, into both of these, uh, to the to the relay and to the one it plugged into. That's not required, but I'm going to just going to do that anyway. Okay. So, so when you look at this, you can tell which one goes into which because one of them has the females, goes into the male, and the male goes into the female over here on this side. Okay, I, I plug the, the females into this end, and I'm going to plug the males into this end. Then that's all I simply have to do is hook up this wire to the positive and the battery. It has a 15 amp fuse in here. And we'll give it a try. To reset my clock. Tighten it up a little bit and we'll, we'll see if we can start it. With a starter, Stardust interrupt us install. Fuel pump, that's a good sign. Bingo. So that's I think that's gonna solve our problem. And uh it sounds like exactly the same symptoms I had that this device is aimed to fix. So I'll just wrap everything back up, put all the relays back to where they were, put the side panel back on, put the battery cover top back on, and we're, we're done. I'm going to add one more step to this because on these other relays, it got this little black thing that clips into to keep them together. And with these, they don't. So what I did is I just put a little electrical tape around that. It's really snug anyway, but this it's just in case, you know, so it doesn't pull out. But if you have it, uh, give uh, MPH a Cycles a call, and they can hook you up with the uh, Kim and Mike can hook you up with one of these these kits. Easy to install. Even I can do it. Flat cap, cafe razor out. Join me and my friends at Flat Cap Cafe Racer for riding and racing. Please subscribe.